Hello, Keyset aspirants. Today we discuss question from real analysis, which is asked in the Karnataka set examination 2024. So here is the first question. Which of the following is not uniformly continuous on the open interval 0, 0,1? So the first option e power x. Second option cos x, third option sin x, the fourth option is 1 by x. Now let us see the solution. So the solution is here. We have the following result. Non-uniform continuity criteria. Let a subset of r and let f from a to r be a function. Then the following statements are equivalent. First one, f is not uniformly continuous on A. Second, there exists an epsilon greater than 0 such that for every delta greater than 0, there are points x delta u delta in A such that modulus of x delta minus u delta less than delta and modulus of f of x delta minus f of u delta is greater than or equal to epsilon which is also equal to there exists an epsilon greater than 0 and two sequences xn and un in A such that limit xn minus un equal to 0 and modulus of f of xn minus f of un is greater than or equal to epsilon for all n belongs to n. So these all three statements are equivalent. So to see which function is not uniformly continuous we will use this criteria so let us see so we can apply this result to show that f of x is equal to 1 by x is not uniformly continuous on open interval 0 comma 1 for if let xn is equal to 1 by n and un is equal to 1 by n plus 1 then we have limit xn minus un equal to 0 but modulus of f of xn minus f of un equal to 1 for all n belongs to n. Thus the function f of x equal to 1 by x is not uniformly continuous on open interval 0, 1. Hence option 4 is true that is the function f of x equal to 1 by x is not uniformly continuous. They have asked the question which function is not uniformly continuous on open interval 0, 0,1. Now let us see how we can prove the functions e power x, cos x and the sin x are uniformly continuous. We know that the functions e power x, cos x, sin x are continuous functions according to the uniform continuity theorem a function that is continuous on a closed bounded interval is always uniformly continuous also we have the continuous extension theorem that is a function f is uniformly continuous on the interval a b if and only if it can be defined at the end points a and b such that the extended function is continuous on closed interval a comma b. So this is the if and only if statement. So if first statement implies second statement and second statement implies the first statement. So to uh, prove the exponential cos x sin x functions are continuous on the open interval 0 comma 1 it is uh, enough to say that it is these functions are continuous on the closed interval 0 comma 1. So clearly the exponential function cos function and sine functions are defined at the end points of this interval 0 1. So these are the end points 0 and 1 at point 0 and 1 these functions are defined. Also these three functions are continuous on the closed interval 0 comma 1. Hence, by the continuous extension theorem, all these functions are uniformly continuous on the open interval 0, 1. Now, let us see the next question. 
if summation fnx converges uniformly to f on a set s then option 1 fn converges to f point wise option 2 fn converges to 0 uniformly on s option number 3 fn converges to 0 on s but not uniformly option 4 fn minus f converges to 0 uniformly on s now let us see the solution the summation fnx converges uniformly to f on a set s means the sequence sn of partial sums is uniformly convergent on s summation sn converges to f means sn tends to 0 this is the criterion for the convergence of a series note that both summation sn and summation sn minus 1 converges to f uniformly on s the summation sn is equal to f1 plus and so on fn now fn is equal to summation sn minus summation sn minus 1 converges uniformly to f minus f equal to 0 on s hence option 2 is correct that is the option 2 fn converges to 0 uniformly on s